and Morning, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday, 6 Eastern. Everyone has an opinion about it. Uh, Us Weekly magazine, 80%, they had a poll on their uh, website, and 80% of their readers did not like the dress. People.com and USAToday.com uh, as well, they had a poll as well. 65% of their readers did not like the dress. Some people liked it. Some people thought it was just way too aggressive. Well, <laughs> aggressive, the poor dress. This is a designer who's famous, the name of Narcisa Rodriguez, yeah. right? And uh, he's responsible for for uh, making incredible designs for people all over the red carpet. What was, there? well, there it was on the runway. Yeah, yeah. Narcisa Rodriguez created this dress. He's behind uh, Carolyn Bissett's wedding dress this man is very well regarded in the fashion industry the dress isn't even in stores yet and he tweaked it just for Michelle Obama uh, but apparently it just didn't go over well with a lot of people fashion insiders seem to have liked it more and they appreciate the fact that she's willing to experiment and she plays with clothing and she seems to enjoy dressing up but uh mainstream wasn't so sure you and I joked around it would look like if me and you ran into each other really fast today right. in our dresses and we collided. clashed. We did it, did a chest bump. We would come you up know, with her dress. But I, I'm not one to criticize people's outfits because I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. You sometimes hit and you sometimes miss and she had a lot of hits this time. She's had a lot of hits. I mean, her Maria Pinto favorites, the, the purple sheath with the black Azadine Alaya belt, that was a huge hit. That's the dress that she wore the night that he uh, got, you know, landed the nomination. The green dress that she wore that when she gave her speech, that another Maria Pinto number, that's a Chicago-based designer, that was also a huge hit. And when she does the cheap chic thing, that also seems to work for her. Right, she joked around about her outfit that she wore on Jay Leno, right? She said J. Crew. <laughs> All J. Crew, and that was a huge hit. The $148 dress she wore on The View, also another huge hit. So it seems when she, st when she stays away from the high, high end and she shops at the J. Crews and the H&Ms of the world, she seems to score really big. Also, she is, as you said, willing to experiment. I mean, you know, everyone's going to be looking at her. She's now going to be the first lady. And uh, and what? how far is she willing to go? I think she is going to have a good time with clothing, but she's also going to have to keep in mind that she is a public figure now and she is on the world stage. And what looks good in your closet or at home when you're dressing up may not always play well on television or on cameras. And she's not only dressing for herself anymore, she's dressing for history now. So she's going to have to get it right. It's a tall order, isn't it? I can't wait to see the inauguration <laughs> dress. That's all anybody's talking about. This is why guys have it so easy. All he has to do is pick out a color tie, the color this, of his tie, right? Exactly, a suit and a tie, but she's got to get it right, and people are watching. All right, especially you. So report back to us on whether or not people like the inaugural gown. Do you know any hints about that by any chance? Um, people are saying she might go back to Maria, Maria Pinto, excuse me, because she's been so good to her in the past. We'll see.